Okay, this is pretty cool. This is a patron request from Dragonfly, one of my awesome patrons. And this is Suisse. I don't know if I ever said that right. But covering one of Enbuna's early Vocaloid songs. So I had no idea. But yeah, Enbuna did Vocaloid songs, apparently. And Suisse must have been a fan of it before they came together for Yerushika. So this is pretty cool. Let's check it out. Does that technically mean this is like the first Yoshika song? Because yeah, and Benna must have composed this song, right? But just had a vocaloid singer at first. And now Suisse is singing it. That's pretty cool, man. Guitar layer is bad. Those palm muted, delayed, cascading guitars. It's really interesting because it's like it's not as clean or as intricate as you would hear in a Yoroshika song. It just shows like how far they've come, really perfecting their craft to give us what we know now as Yoroshika. Very classic rock feeling guitar solo there. Jimmy Pagey. Ooh. You know, like the nylon guitar.
We like that pull off riff that's going on. The right here. I love those gently plucked, palm muted, clean notes with the delay on them. Oh, such a nice soundscape. Like, there's so many elements of Yurashika in this music that, you know, once refined could come together to create a cool Yurashika song, but it's also, you know, it's a little more cluttered than you'd be, be used to from hearing Yurashika. So, it's so cool to see, like, what it has become and what a unique and clean sound they have now um but that this was a stepping stone even the guitar solo like there was a cool uh like rock bluesy guitar solo in there but it still felt very like classic rock jimmy pagey and then you had the trilled uh nylon string guitar solo you know that you hear a lot in um like french music and classical music and stuff but then you they just have such a unique sound now that I can't compare to anything else. It's cool to see that they had a stepping stone. They had their inspirations and their other ways first, and now they've developed their own unique style. Okay. Thank you so much, Dragonfly. I really appreciate you sharing this with me. Another little history lesson. wonder what year this is from. I uh, wonder if I can find out on Google. Like what year she actually covered this? Or was it more recently? Did she do it? Oh, it looks like... Give me a sec. Okay, so I it looks like the song's originally from 2016. So that's interesting. But I could be totally wrong about the whole thing. Maybe this was... Uh, and Benna covered it after they were together. I don't know. Let me know, Dragonfly. But anyway still really cool to see this and the difference between the sound here and Yurashika now. But thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. And thank you, Dragonfly, for sharing it with me. Hope you all have a nice day, and I'll talk to you later.